comes as day When from the heart we say May Jesus Christ be praised The powers of darkness fear When this sweet chant I hear May Jesus Christ be praised Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, we praise. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, be Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Good morning, everyone. It's so good to be together in worship on this uh, fifth Sunday after Epiphany. We, uh, we're trying some new things this service, so uh, bear with us. There's going to be a few glitches, but uh, one of the things that we are uh, doing new is our wonderful worship group at the front there. So thank you so much to Erica, Krista, Stephen, and Isaiah as they are uh, trying something new, taking a step of faith, and to all the kids that are doing different roles in our service today. We're very excited, and you know what? If you stumble on your words, I do it all the time, so don't worry about it. Just do, do what you're doing and have fun. Let us stand and join in our processional hymn, Dawning Light of Our Salvation. Everything you need today is on the screen. Oh, 
Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and magnif- magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to invite Kiana up to the front. I made a special deal with Kiana that she would get to read from the pulpit. I'll share a little bit more about that later. Oh, hold on a sec, Kiana. I forgot this mic is not working that well. There you go. A reading from Isaiah, Isaiah 58, verse 1 to 9. Shout it aloud, do not hold it back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their rebellion and to the descendants of Jacob their sins. For day after day they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways. And as if they were a nation that does what is right and has not forsaken the commands of its God. They ask me just for decisions and seem eager for God to come near them. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we humbled ourselves, and you have not noticed? 
Yet on the day of your fasting you will do as you please and exploit your, all your workers. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves? Is it, a, is it only for bowing one's head like a reed and for lying in sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast? A day acceptable to the Lord? This is not the kind of fasting I have chosen. To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is, is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide them, the poor wanderer, with shelter? When you see the naked, to cloth them and to not turn away from your own flesh and blood, then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then I will call, and the Lord will answer. He will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. And now we have Nathan's going to read our psalm. The psalm appointed for today is one, Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous and righteous. Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs to justice, with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear or bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look Look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. Amen. Amen. And now we'll have Graham come up. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling my message and my preachings were not with wise and persi- persuasive persuasive words but with a demonstration of the spirit's power so that your faith might not re- might not rest on human wisdom but on God's power we do have However, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom is is a mystery that has been hidden and that God destines for our glory before Time began, none of the rulers of this age understood it. 
For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what that what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him, the These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What? That what we have received is not the spirit that of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great job. Very good. Please stand for our gospel acclamation. Jesus Christ. Practices and teaches these commandments will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Very good. Reed and Lucas, you can go sit with your parents for our sermon time. Thank you very much. So, today we have a, a, a special event here, intergenerational service, so I thought I would do our sermon time a little bit differently. Today, we heard the story about uh, Jesus telling us that we are the light of the world. Let me see if I can get the next slide up there. It says, who lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl? No one. We put it on a stand so that it lights the whole room. And so that's meant to be our call in the world, to be a light to the world, to do good things so that people might see them and glorify the person, God, whom we're doing it for. Looks like we have a little bit of a delay on our thing. Uh, so we want to fulfill God's commandments. The other day, Ange came to our house and was doing a little cleaning and she was wearing a t-shirt that had this on it. I understand Lori gave it to her. This is the country commandments, the version of the Ten Commandments. It says, one God, no gossiping, Sunday go to meeting, no stealing, no wanting neighbor's things, no hanky-panky, honor ma and pa, no idols, no killing, and no cussing. <laughs> thought that was pretty cute. The one thing about the Ten Commandments, though, is that it's a lot of negative stuff, isn't it? And I thought today it might be kind of fun to put a positive spin on it. And so uh, I have a little bit of a game that we're going to play. The Ten Commandments in a positive light. And I have a prize. A jumbo box of Timbits. <laughs> it's it's not quite as big as this one on the screen, but I have got quite a lot of Timbits in here. I think there was 50, and uh, so this is our, our appetizer for our lunch today, for our AGM. So, here's how the game is going to work. The people in your pew are your team. I am going to... Join <laughs> oh boy, these are fresh. Smell good. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's not how it works. I don't have, I have 50, but maybe not uh, enough to go around. So we're going to try to put a positive spin. I have summarized in a positive way each of the Ten Commandments in five words or less. And uh, I'm going to turn to the first commandment, and uh, we're going to read it, and then we're going to see what uh, pew puts their hand up first, and I'm going to go and uh, hear if they have a good answer, if it's close to what I did. And since I, I made the game, I get to judge if it's, uh, <laughs> if it's a good answer or not. If it's a good answer, your whole pew will get a timbit. Not to share, one each. Yeah, right now. Okay, so this is commandment number one. You shall have no other gods before me. So how do we put a positive light on that? Talk with your pew and see what you come up with. Put up your hand. Oh, these guys are first. Okay, what's your answer? God comes number one before everything. God comes number one. That's very close to what I had. I had put God first in your life. That is excellent. You guys each get a Timbit. Timbit. Nice. I, okay. I didn't know that Come on. this game was coming. <laughs> I promise. Okay, while they're getting their Timbits, we'll go on to commandment number two. Okay, traditionally we say don't worship idols, number two. Okay, oh, these guys put up their hand quick. Did you guys talk about it? Oh, okay, let me get my Timbits and see if I need to give you them. Okay, what did you say? Don't worship rocks. 
oh, don't worship rocks, that's a really good answer, but I'm trying to put a positive spin on it. Rather than don't do something, I want to try to do do something. Okay? Oh, Carolyn got it. What's your answer? Worship only God. What did I have? Dun, dun, dun. Worship God. I think that's worthy of a Timbit. Very good. Yeah, everyone in your pew gets one. Okay, number three. Commandment number three. Don't disrespect the name of the Lord. That's one way of saying uh, don't take the name of the Lord in vain. Is there a... oh? Who is first? These guys are... The... Oh, we're going to go with these guys because you guys had your answer. What Praise did you get? Praise God's name. Praise God's name. Very good. I, and I think that's worthy of a Timbit or three. Uh, I said speak to God rather than about God. So, okay, you guys had a great answer. Okay. Next one, you guys get ready if you're going to be on the ball here. Commandment number four, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Oh, Maureen, come to church. I think that's worthy before I even give you the answer. You get Timbits for that one. I said, rest one day every week. Whoa, what's wrong with... The, the Sabbath technically is the Saturday. But I'll, I'll give you Timbits for promoting coming to church. Okay. Commandment number five. Honor your father and your mother. Oh, Reed and Graham. Reed put up his hand first. Respect your parents and do what, they, do what God tells you. Very good. Respect your parents. Way to go. Good answer. I, what I summarized it was, uh, listen well to your parents, which is good. You guys can each have a Timbit. Nice. Here, we'll pass them down the line. <laughs> mm -hmm. Carlin, you want one? Okay. Okay, commandment number six here. Do not murder... Hey, Graham's got another answer. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's it's got to be good. You know, if you, if, if you get a second... Oh, did Nathan have his uh, hand up? Where's Nathan? Oh, I couldn't see him back there. Okay. You know, the standards go up if you're a second uh, Timbit uh, claimer. Okay, Nathan, what did you want to say? Respect life. I think that's excellent. You guys are doing great. I put help others live well. Respect life is an excellent answer, though. Okay, Judy better get one in there, too, you, since it was your answer. <laughs> okay, commandment number seven. Don't commit adultery. Oh, tough one. Tough one. Oh, Glenn. Very good. He's getting some brownie points today. Love your wife. Love your wife or your spouse. Very good. I think that's worthy of uh, three Timbits. I, I said, love faithfully. That's what I said, but uh, love your spouse is great. Okay, commandment number eight. I had, don't steal or something close to that is what we traditionally know. Oh, boy. Everybody's going to make my child blimp up here. Oh, whoops. In the back, what? Oh, the girls. Ah! Ah! You didn't see that answer on the screen. Whoops. Sorry, these little girls are so cute. What did you say? Don't and they're small. steal toys. Oh, that's a really good answer, but we're trying to put a positive spin. Don't steal love. That's a really good one, too, but we're trying to do a positive one. I think you guys get a Timbit for trying. It points for effort. <laughs> okay, Graham, I guess I'm going to have to give it to you. What's your answer? You can't, you can't read the screen. Only give, don't steal. Oh, only give. Okay, there you go. Yeah! Good. <laughs> 
Okay, I, I think uh, I think pew number one is uh, reached their Timbit quota. Okay, commandment nine: don't lie. Come on, new pew. Oh, Nathan got it at the back. You guys got to be quicker on the dry. You're gonna miss out on the Timbits. Say, tell the truth. Yes, very good. Here you go. I said, speak the truth in love. Sometimes it's when you speak the truth, it's not always in love, is it? <laughs> okay. Like if I eat too many Timbits and somebody says, you know what, you're looking a little fat. That's maybe the truth, but it might not be in love. Yeah. Okay, no more doubles. You people who haven't got a Timbit yet, got to be quick on the draw here. Okay, last one. Don't. Here it is. Don't be jealous of your neighbors. Ooh, preemptive strike at the sound desk. It's like these people that hit their buzzer before the person's done asking the question. Okay, don't be jealous of your neighbor. What do you say, Jesse? Be satisfied with what you have. Be satisfied with what you have. That's an excellent answer. Martin, you get in here too. This is what I said. Be happy to be you. Be satisfied with what you have. That's excellent. I'm going to leave these with Aaron to put in the hall for our uh, lunch. Very good. There's actually not a lot left. (laughs) Good thing I got the 50 pack. Okay, so we are going to move on to our our creed is next. Where did I leave my missile? Here it is. Okay, everyone, please stand. Yes? Let us confess the faith of our baptism as we say. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. Third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Okay, please kneel as you're able for our prayers of the people. And we have special prayers today with Reed and Teresa. Oh, need a microphone. Lord, this day is your day. We are gathered to worship you. Lord, on this Sabbath day, we are glad to be in your house. Help us to make you the center of our worship. May we hear your voice clearly speaking to our hearts. In our changing world, Lord, thank you that you are unchanging in your love for us. Thank you for our world. Lord, when you made it, you saw that it was good. Forgive us, Lord. When we scar the world in which we live, either through neglect, by brutal intervention, or by careless attitude. In our changing world, Lord, thank you that you are unchanging in your love for us. Thank you for the changing seasons, Lord, especially as we see the recurring miracle of your providential care. For all that makes our world beautiful, especially when we see nature dressed again in the very best of color and style, we praise you. In our our changing world, Lord, thank you that you are unchanging in your love for us. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us all a place in your world. You have called every one of us to follow you. Help us, Lord, to... 
Seek to know your will in our lives. Confirm your purpose in us. In all changing world, Lord, thank you that you are unchanging in your love for us. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. (coughs) Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all of your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. you. Let us share with one another a sign of God's peace. Carly? I invite you to join in our offering. Our offering hymn is coming up on the screen I'll Not Be Shaken. Can my 
salvation, await and trust His steadfast Let us bless our offering. Once our screen catches up. (laughs) Very good. God of compassion and forgiveness, receive our offering this day and make us one with him who is our peace, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, things come. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. You have revealed your eternal plan of salvation and have shown your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the light of all peoples. Therefore, with angels and archangels, we raise our voices in joyful praise to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, Lord our God, for the goodness and love you have made known to us in creation, in calling Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, the death he freely accepted, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, according to his command, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we, made acceptable in him, may be sanctified by the Holy Spirit, and in the fullness of time reconcile all things in Christ and make them new, and bring us to that city of light where you dwell with all your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. (laughs) 
And now as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us sing the unused day. Let's speak it, actually. (laughs) Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. able with our communion songs.
God, in you we find peace beyond all telling. May we who share in this heavenly banquet be instruments of your peace on earth, in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Please be seated. There are a couple of announcements. Uh, Most 
prominently uh, is that we're having our lunch after the service and our annual general meeting. I commit to you that we will uh, get through the meeting portion as efficiently as possible. I know we have some care home services happening this afternoon, and I did give, give ourselves a deadline of 1.30. I'm hoping to beat that deadline. So uh, there's lots of good food in there, chili and stew and stuff, so please stick around. Uh, there is packets of reports at the back. You can pick one up as you leave. Um, on the announcement sheet, which I neglected to grab, can I borrow one of yours? Thanks. Oh. Okay, Alter Guild is having their own AGM, uh, February 12th, that's Wednesday at 11.30. Uh, tax receipts are printed and put in the mailboxes in the foyer as you grab your AGM reports and continue on to the hall. Please grab your letter out of your uh, envelope, out of your box there. And finally, the uh, Valentine's Day Games Night is happening on Friday. We're having potluck at 5 and games for all ages, 6.30 and onwards. I took the liberty of uh, putting a, a sign-up sheet with a paper clip on the back of the AGM sign-up sheet. So as it's going around, after we get our food, the sign-in sheet for the AGM is going there. Uh, flip the page, write your name on the Valentine's Day thing, if you're able to come. I hope you are. Any other announcements? Very good. Well, let us stand and join in our recessional song, recessional hymn, which is Build Your Kingdom Here.
your kingdom here we
less songs for uh, offering? No. Well, they were done offering. The, yeah, they, they were done fast. Did they usually go down fast? I was like, yeah. I was like, whoa. I could hear my guitar once, but then he told me to turn it down, and I'm like gonna hear it for the rest of the time. What was my mom doing up? What was my mom doing up here? Well, I think she turned your microphone off. Yeah, my microphone. Yeah, my microphone was off for the last half of the service. Hello, hello, hello. That's not off. It, look, it's coming through.